heard yet. Ashley. That's right, Samantha. Right now I'm live in front of the county courthouse where evictions are piling up. Now this landlord telling us tonight that this is not about evicting individuals who have lost their jobs during this pandemic, but rather individuals who stopped paying their rent well before this pandemic began. And he tells us tonight that he's losing thousands of dollars because of this. The landlord is going to be the next one being evicted from his home because he's not making the money off his property. It's a trickle down impact. Brian Ewing says it's becoming a tough pill to swallow. We're not getting paid. He's a property manager with Roshni Management owned by Bobby Simon. He manages more than 20 rental properties in the St. Louis area. We can lose his property any day because people don't want to pay. He says he understands the reasoning behind courts halting evictions because of COVID-19. But he says some tenants weren't paying their rent well before the pandemic sanctions. Right now, Ewing says the company is more than $10,000 in the hole from tenants who stopped paying their rent before the pandemic. Now it's to the point where you're living free. Court documents show one tenant owes more than $6,000. Look how long you haven't paid rent. Records show payments stopped in December. The tenant told me over the phone he fell on hard times. We're all in the pandemic. We're all losing here. Join the team. We're all losing together. We need St. Louis County to stand behind the landlords. The St. Louis County Sheriff's Office says this is a lose-lose situation. The county paused evictions in March and they do not have a date on which they'll resume. Currently, more than 160 evictions are pending in the county system, a number that's expected to rise. We still have to figure out how the insurance is going to get paid, how the mortgage is going to get paid for and Ewing also tells me that he hopes the county can find some sort of solution to this so that their business does not fold under. Now, he also says that they did try working with this tenant to provide a payment plan. Again, in those court documents, we did find the last payment was for $500 back in January. But since then, no other payments have been made. Now, in the city, however, evictions are still on hold in the city, but they do have a date for September 1st to begin resuming evictions. For now, reporting live in Clayton, Ashley Lincoln, News 4. If you're one of the many struggling to pay rent in the St. Louis area, there is help.